Okay, so in this little add-on video, I'm just going to make my Mando Mandalorian helmet reflective. This isn't something we necessarily have to do, but it's something I kind of just want to show you, a quite nice little trick. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go over to our shading option in Blender. And with our sort of object selected, we can select the new to create a new material. And this will create us a default principle, the BDSF, BD, BSDF um, material, sorry, and our material output. The material output is obviously a material that is being applied to our 3D object. I'm going to delete the principled BSDF like so, so it should all go dark. And I'm just going to add a Fresnel. And I'm going to then add a Diffuse, like so. And then finally, I'm going to add a Glossy. And these three values here are going to basically deal with how the reflections are done, how the default colour of that material is, and also the shine of it, essentially. So how like, light will reflect off it as well. I'm now going to add a mix. So a mix shader, which will combine these three elements together. I'm going to hook the, them up like so. So shader into the inputs like here. And then hook my shader up to my surface input on my material. So at the moment, it should just look default white because I haven't changed any of the values. But if I was to adjust my roughness now to zero, it now is uh, very uh, reflective. You can sort of see how the light is reflection, reflecting like so. If I was to increase my um, sort of little value here on the Fresnel, so they drag that up or down, I can adjust how much uh, reflection is being done. So it, by default, it's using this uh, environment map. So you can see here we've got this little 360 image that's basically been projected onto our surface, our material. And this is where you can see how the optimization starts to have an impact on our model. So normally this model, without, those, without the optimization on, is perfectly smooth. It's actually really detailed. But once we start adding our optimization in, you can see that we start to lose the um, reflective quality a little bit. Now, like I said, on a mobile phone, this typically won't be too much of an issue because you're not going to be viewing it super close up. Um, but it's just something to bear in mind going forward. So yeah, I can just think like the uh, color here. So this is how the roughness color values are kind of impacting onto our material surface, likewise with our glossy. So I can make it a darker gloss or lighter or give it a tint of a colour. Again, all this I can do in Spark AR. Now if I go back to my model, I'm just going to select it and hit Z to bring up my material preview. You can see now this is kind of how we can kind of achieve a reflective surface. Now we'll go into more detail about blender shaders, how to create different types of materials um, in a future video. Uh, typically I would actually use Substance Painter to do my material painting and actually paint onto the model that way just to get more control. But you can do it within um, Blender. But just be aware that once we start to export our model alongside the materials, the materials won't necessarily behave the same from Blender into other programs. So what we see in Blender necessarily won't always reflect in our other projects, so whether it's in Unreal, Unity or Spark, the way material values can be handled can vary from program to program. So at this point we're going to return back to the main video. So again, main video that this uh, is supporting is in this video's description. So, goodbye.